uh, each year we have a, a breeding and restocking program across the state of around 3 million trout and salmon and almost 2 million uh, of the trout are actually bred right here at the Ebor Hatchery so it is the major breeding facility uh, for the state. At the moment we're breeding all rainbow trout. Um, we've stripped probably approximately three and a half million eggs this year and all them fish will be actually released out into the um, waterways around New South Wales. So once we've stripped the eggs from the fish, um, they go into large buckets and the water actually upwells up through them and they stay there for approximately a month till they actually develop eyes in the eggs. You usually get about 2,000 eggs per kilo of body weight of fish. Once they develop the eyes, we actually take them out of the bins and then pick the live ones from the dead ones and then they actually go into trays and they stay there for probably another week or so and they start to hatch. Once they start to hatch, they feed their cells for probably the next six to seven weeks, depends on the water temperature. And then once they swum to the top of the trays, we actually start to feed them and then we'll feed them every hour through the day until they're ready to be released. Last year was, well, probably the worst we've ever seen it, anyone's ever seen it. We only released 43% of our normal rainbow trout and brown trout for the New England area. This year we're back to normal. The, all, everyone's got water, all the creeks around all the areas that we do. Like we, we do all this New England area. We also do the central area, which is around Bathurst, Lithgow, Orange, that area as well. They've all got water this year, so yeah, it's going to be a great year. Just like to see the joy that people get out of catching fish and I actually, I'm not a big fisherman myself, but enjoy actually the breeding side of it to see what you start with and what you end up with, yeah.